What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today Apple has released iOS 18 beta 2 and unfortunately this update comes with some good and some bad news and while most of you wait for the unmatched videos on this update from Zolotech or Brandon, there's a few things that Apple has just confirmed that are coming with this iOS 18 beta 2 that I thought I should let you know of. The first thing that you probably should know is that this update comes exactly after two weeks since Apple released the first beta so at this point in time it seems that we are on a two week release cycle I'm in the process of just charging and then I'll update one of my other devices to iOS 18 shortly the second beta to begin off with some good news that Apple has confirmed when it comes to this iOS 18 beta 2 they have actually confirmed the iPhone mirroring feature that will be enabled as part of continuity the iPhone mirroring feature will allow Mac users Users to mirror their iPhone display to their Macs and interact with the iPhone without the need to touch it and it will also give you the ability to send files back and forth between the iPhone and the Mac without having to remove it from its charger or taking it out of your pocket. This is something that has been said and confirmed by Apple and we have The Verge as a source for this and an Apple spokesperson was able to confirm that this iPhone mirroring feature will be coming in the second beta of iOS 8. 18. Now, since iPhone mirroring is going to work side by side between iOS 18 and macOS 15, you can see I've updated my Mac to macOS 15 and in the iPhone mirroring feature is actually not showing up in the different applications but it's hidden in the OS if you search for it right here you can see that's when it shows up as an application you can double click it it won't open and at the same time I was able to pin it to the dock you notice it says iPhone mirroring but when I open it at this point in time it doesn't seem to be functional but with iOS 18 beta 2 and Mac OS 15 beta 2 this is going to be finally fixed now another feature that's going to be coming with iOS 18 beta 2 is share play screen sharing and with enhanced share play screen sharing capabilities you can draw on someone's screen so they can see what they can do by themselves or you yourself can take control of their device and be able to control and do certain tasks this is going to be useful for those that do technical support or that have relatives or friends that usually reach out for support this is also confirmed to be coming in iOS 18 beta 2. Now in terms of the unfortunate or bad news when it comes to this update iOS 18 beta 2, Apple has confirmed that the two features are highlighted that is the iPhone mirroring as well as the share play screen sharing won't be available in the EU. The UK I'm not yet certain but the EU won't get that and at the same time if you want the new advanced Siri and Apple intelligence features that are here with iOS 18 then the EU Apple has confirmed that won't be getting this feature this year and this has to do with some DMA or Digital Markets Act that basically monitors the anti-competitive behavior of different companies and at this present time Apple and Meta have some issues going on and they might be taxed or charged pretty soon so for that reason Apple has decided to delay those features to the EU now of course iOS 8 18 has some issues and bugs that we are hoping to be resolved and the first one that a lot of users experienced and have reported has to do with the iPhone storage whereby the system and iOS data was taking over 200 gigs for certain devices so hopefully we get to see that being fixed and at the same time there's an issue a bug where certain devices on iOS 18 the first beta seems to be restarting by themselves so hopefully that will be fixed too within this beta 2 update there are some ios 18 features that are coming later this year that we might not see in the second beta since apple hasn't said anything and the first one has to do with the mail improvements and the other one has to do with virtual machine or virtual screen enhancement when it comes to the apple vision pro then we have new emojis that are supposed to be coming as part of ios 18 that haven't been confirmed and that 
at the same time if you have smart home or home kit devices then there's an improvement that's supposed to be coming with ios 18 that we haven't seen yet so those may be coming later on in the year but at this point in time i'll just finish updating to ios 18 beta 2 and then we'll try out some of the new features and changes so if that's something that you are interested in and you want to see definitely do hit subscribe so that you don't miss out